Cook County's medical examiner's office identifies the victim as 29-year-old Andrus Wolford. Wolford was a social worker and a mother of two daughters. Officers found Wolford's body in a home in the 2100 block of North Nashville Avenue in Galewood just after 10 Thursday morning. She had suffered a gunshot wound to the chin. Police took the officer who was off duty into custody. Wolford's family says she and the officer had been together for the last couple of years. All right, guys. So no charges filed against this officer in this case. So why do they have him in custody, Zen? Well, they're probably doing some type of investigation. Normally, the first person they look at is the living lover, the husband, the boyfriend. They look at that person first because statistics say that that is the person that is the killer. And so that's probably why they arrested him. And now they're trying to verify that um, he is the one that they should charge. So that's what I would say on that. Okay, interesting point. MD to life. What do you think about this whole story? Ah, uh, man, you know, here we go again. It's, it's just sad because here we are again speaking about another loss to a black family that I'm pretty sure is significant. I, I see she was a mom, a master's degree and things of that nature. So she was doing pretty good for herself. Man. Uh, and the fact that they have him in custody, truthfully, to me, that just means they more than likely have a little bit of evidence. Uh, nothing concrete or they would already put it out there, but they pretty much got enough to say he's the one who did it for a valid reason. So, you know, uh, it, it's just sad, man. Shouts out to Nashville. I got a lot of family. I say, yeah, I don't know why they said a home. They probably, it probably was his home. They probably don't want to identify what, what they, what they found her at or who house it was for, for, uh, evidentiary reasons. That's the only, that's the only thing I can guess. Other than that, it's a tragic situation. As always, as I always say, the, the black woman is the most unprotected woman in America, but yet the most fierce. So um, I don't, it, it's, it's just, uh, once again, as, I, as I've been saying for the last 90 days, it's just part of the 90 days to eve. It's just part of that evenness that's rise up during this time of the year. Just really sick man of things really happen that you really, you really can believe that a black man has done to a black woman, for one. And for two, just the tra overall tragedy of it being just a black on black situation. Um, are they trying to cover up for him because he's a police officer? Chicago Police Department, you know, it's notorious for covering up things. Um, you know, Lightfoot is um, up, is up on a lot of fire right now. So, so I, I don't think she in the situation be trying to cover nothing up. I think, like, like the brother said, they probably do have <clears throat> just enough evidence to hold him for an investigation. So if they if they got them, they got like you said, they have some type of evidence. They have something on. They're not trying to cover this up. They 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 got they got they got what they need. They just they got some of what they need. They just need a little bit more to go ahead and charge them. Mr. Blue, what's your take on this whole situation? <clears throat> he was arrested, not charged. That's gonna be my theme from here on out. I believe that he did it. Definitively, the ballistics will tell that off the top. Ballistics are going to be the first things they're going to run. He's a cop. He's a trained officer. A shot to the chin, that's a rookie mistake. No one would do that. Chest or head. So, no, I don't think he did it. I really don't think he did it. If he did it, it must have been a crime of passion. But, dang, what could possibly go on? They've been kicking it for years unless she was about to break up with him or something. I need a little bit more background to definitively say. But just based on how the girl was shot... I, just, I, just, I can't really commit to him doing it. Uh, for me, um, I think it's damage control. I think we've gotten to a point to where if they're putting out bits and pieces of information, even if they have everything, more than likely, you will be surprised at how crimes and, and the media work together to either string along stories, even if they got everything at one point, sometimes they will string certain things along so it stays in the news until a certain point to certain people have elections to certain people have certain dates to meet. like it, it's it's really a game that if you're not into that realm it doesn't it looks legit but for the chicago police department uh this may be this it may just be damage control because if you can put out enough incremental incremental data at some point 
the public will lose interest in it. You 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 will watch the story one time. You watch a little bit of it again. Watch it again, and then when you see it the fourth or fifth time on TV, you won't even connect the dots. You're like, oh yeah, I remember that story. You won't get the background of it. You won't see how it turned out or anything like that. And a lot of times, that's what happens in high-profile cases. Uh, if you go back and watch some when judges and, and high-profile police officers and stuff like that get in a lot of trouble, they will come out with the end results, but it'd be six months down the road, eight months down the road when they say, yeah, convicted of so-and-so. It'll be at the bottom of the paper in a little small, small print at the bottom. You'll never see it again. And if you don't want the uh, the, the uh, Chicago Police Department under fire for this thing, you know he did it. Hey, this is what's going on. They update on the story. They update it in another two weeks. The next update, three weeks. And then when nobody's thinking about it, they'll post what they need to post, which, which is you know, hey, he committed the crime. He's you know being convicted. Blah blah blah. And it won't hit the TV again. TV two or three times newspaper that's it never hit the radio nothing like that i think it's damage control me personally